Hey everybody, what's going on? Claudio Zavala Jr. here. Thank you for stopping by once again and checking out the channel. Today, if you notice, I am not in my studio. We are out in the elements. The reason is I'm testing out some gear and to really get a full uh, review of it, we had to go outside. You may notice a little bit of wind and rushing water. We've had a lot of rain here, so the creeks and the rivers are full of water. So the company K-Tech out of Vista, California, which happens to be my hometown, sent me out some gear to test out. So we're testing out the dead cat on my Asden shotgun microphone. All right, folks, as I mentioned, this is right here, the dead cat on my shotgun microphone. For those of you who are not familiar with what a dead cat is, basically it stops and helps with the wind from being caught in the microphone, from being that kind of sound in the audio. So what I'm gonna do here is kinda of pause a little bit. I'm gonna take it off so you can hear the difference. Right now, here is a dead cat. What you're listening to is the mic without any wind protection. I'm sure you're having a hard time hearing me because of the wind. The dead cat is back on the shotgun microphone. I'm sure you can tell a huge difference. If you're out there recording video and audio, I highly recommend using some sort of windscreen, a dead cat, foam cover something to help filter out that wind noise it makes a huge difference and it will make your video so much better so we're going to go ahead and head back into the studio because it looks like we've got a little bit of rain possibly on the way and i want to get out of here before it starts to rain so back in the studio in three two one all right we are back in the studio out of the element and i think no wind in here so we should be okay with that and uh, gonna give you a little breakdown of the gear here here is the dead cat that I used outside to help with that wind. This is very well constructed. One of the pluses of this dead cat is when you are placing it on a microphone, it is very snug. So at first you may think this is too tight, but actually works out. I've seen many of these that fall off during use. So this thing will not fall off. It stays in place. So that's gonna be one of the pluses I'm going to give this windscreen. As I mentioned, it is a little bit tight when you are placing it on the microphone. I guess it depends which one you use. For my Asden, it was a little tight, but in the overall scheme of things, I prefer that instead of being super loose. Next in review here is the shock mount that I used on the boom pole. One of the things I noticed on the shock mount is that you're able to use the 3 8 inch thread or you can loosen it up and use it on a regular microphone boom stand. And this, let me say the rubber mounts on this shock mount, your microphone will not go anywhere. Next up is this telescopic boom pole. It is made out of aluminum and it can measure anywhere from three feet all the way to 10. And it's really great for getting your microphone right in front of the talent or as close as you can without being seen in screen. The rubberized collars makes it easy to loosen and tighten to make any adjustments as needed when you're out there on some takes. And it all comes together in this nice, easy to carry case. In addition to the dead cat, the shock mount and the boom mic, the company sent along a series of pouches for me to check out. These little pouches are great for holding accessories like additional batteries, screws, and things like a lavalier microphone. Squeeze down on the edges, you're able to open up the area to place whatever you want inside the pouch. One of the things I like about the clear front cover is it makes it easy to see what's inside the pouch. And in addition, there is a white strip at the top. You can use a Sharpie or some other type of marker and write down something to tell you what this one is. Overall, I'm really impressed by the gear. So I wanna say a big thank you to K-Tech for sending it out. If you are interested in picking up any of the gear that I shared with you today, I'm going to include some affiliate links in the description below. And I think with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. If you have any questions about any of the gear, please do add it in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up by clicking on that like button. And I'm going to ask you once again to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Until next time, be good to one another.